Hi beautiful people, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lillian Shiro. I trained back in Kenya as a nurse and I apparently work in the UK as a registered nurse. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to share a few tips on how you can get a UK driving license. So yeah, stay to the end of this video and uh, I'll be sharing this so that you don't miss maybe the crucial information that you may require to know. So guys, for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. For those who are new, kindly consider subscribing to this channel. I really appreciate you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I did tell you or share a few tips on how to buy a car faster in the UK as an immigrant. You can't have a car yet you can't drive because you can't drive without a license. And then I will let you know which license you can use to drive a car in the UK. And if you don't have a license, I will tell you how you can apply for a license. So that means I will touch on the test that you can do, the driving test that you can do. Because we have two parts here, there's the theory part and the, there's the driving practice or practical part. So let me just mention, most countries uh, when they come here in the UK, mostly Commonwealth and um, some other countries, you can be allowed to use your license for at least a year. So even those who usually like apply for the international driving license, you can use it just for 12 months here in the UK. So you can't go past. 12 months so at some point you have to get yourself ready to do a theory test and a practical test to get a UK driving license so guys that's why I thought it's good I just share a few tips because I know when people get here they are a bit confused and uh, they don't know it just like myself most of these videos I do them with my own experience and what I've learned I get to share with you guys I came with my Kenyan license I could have used it to drive for like one year but i didn't do that yes i bought the car with my license but then <laughs> but then i was thinking because i'm from a commonwealth um country that i'm eligible to exchange my driving license with a uk license i found the dvla here in northern ireland and uh, they told me to send uh, my details so I will let you know what I was to send and then I was thinking I'm going to exchange my license but that was not the case so I was applying for a provisional driving license so this is what happened uh, so when I found them they told me what they require and uh, I was supposed to send to the DVLA offices which are not here in Belfast they are somewhere I think how is this called or Coraline or something like that for you to apply for a provisional driving license which I remember I mentioned a little bit in my previous video on how to buy a, a car that you could use this license to buy a car yeah so you need your photo sized um, passport you know the way we have those colored passports yeah so you need uh, those passport photo sized you need them and I think I, did, I had like two or three of, I can't remember, I think I had four, but I sent maybe two. I can't remember how many I sent, but this photo size has to be certified. So what I did, I requested my manager at that moment to certify for me. And she did that, she certified, you know, because it must be someone like uh, who doesn't know you, uh, someone maybe who is a civil servant uh, here in UK, or someone who is working but anyway at this particular point i used my manager so she sent the photo for me and then i paid i'm thinking back then it was more expensive i, I think it was 67 something but at the moment uh i've seen it 62 50 pounds 
so you will have your passport photo id that is so that's your passport original copies you can put your work permit passport photo size which has been certified you put it inside and then you will fill in the form so the question will be where do you get this form so you will go to the post office they usually have these forms that is northern ireland for the dvla so you go to the post office and then you will like up fill in the details that are required there and then you enclose they'll have provided you with an envelope to enclose your documents in there and also you should enclose the cash the money that you're supposed to pay for your provisional driving license they have also like uh, provided an address where you're sending to on top and this one is usually like a first class yeah so you just fill in your details and close what you're supposed to provide and then give to the post office and by next day they will have they will have like uh, sent it and then you should follow up for your provisional license for like eight weeks so if eight weeks like elapses and you don't have your provisional license yet you should contact them and ask them what happened because at some point you are required to reapply because you don't know maybe it got lost on the way or what really happened i understand even in uh, in england and scotland and wales is still the same maybe the payment is a little bit different because i think they apply for their provisional using 20 pounds i stand to be corrected i'm not so sure and then if you are to reapply for another driving license that is provisional driving license you will use 30 pounds just go online that information is there and you get to know what is required of you so once you enclose you send them and then they'll get back to you or if you feel they are taking too long just follow so something else I, I can say um this happened to me because i was i even enclosed my driving license my kenyan driving license because <laughs> i was thinking i was exchanging because the communication that i had with the person whom i spoke to in the dvla they had said it's okay but then they guided me again to apply for a provisional driving license so i was wondering okay uh, why did she tell me that I was supposed to be exchanging my driving license whereas she just wanted me to like have my professional driving license so when my documents came back because you have to send your original documents they usually come back so when they came back my driving license came back and I was like ah what's happening so I found the DVLA again and so when I found them uh, they said in Northern Ireland I can't exchange uh, my Kenyan license directly. I have to do the theory test and I have to do the practical test. <laughs> that is something I wasn't ready for, but anyway. So yeah, so uh, there are countries which have been allowed to drive here in the UK. Mostly the EU countries, you can drive uh, for 70 years here in the UK with your own driving license. And if it's in Africa, uh, there are some countries uh like i think swaziland south africa and uh, zimbabwe those are the only three countries that have been allowed to exchange their license like directly you know with the uk um dvla or the the body that you use wherever you are so guys don't make that mistake thinking that you can use your license for more than a year no you can just use your license for 12 months just book for the theory test and then this theory test i think at the moment it's 23 pounds yeah i think it's 23 pounds but that those details in anyway, they are online and then uh, after the theory test once you pass your theory test that's the only time you can book for your driving practical test which makes sense in anyway. so um for you to pass your theory test you need like to go through online there are some apps I'll try and see if I can show you um, the apps that you can, the, the one that you can use to study for your theory test and even for your driving test. I'll also try to take you to the government website and show you how you can like book for your theory test. Your theory is like computer based. So you will do through a computer and it's marked directly. So by the time you leave the exam center, you already know whether you passed or you failed and 
if you fail you can't proceed you have to repeat again and again and again and again so you have to make sure that you prepare yourself very well take your time it's an exam like any other exam so take your time and then yeah you start for your exam and i think also i'll try and take you through maybe what will be asked in the theory um the theory test which is done online no so here i was just checking the the ones which are this is the government website um this is the government website uh, okay now here i'll just try and uh, show you how you can book for your theory test booking for theory theory driving driving test in uk so book for your theory test so i had already come here to check and uh, we are in so this is the government of uk website and then you go down so if you want to search anything quickly because it's the official government website you can search from this uh point here but anyway uh, so plan to drive a car step by step so here you go book your theory test book your driving theory test for cars motorcycles lorries buses uh coaches including driver certificates for pro professional competence anyway most of us in most cases is for the cars or maybe motorcycles for those who are interested so yeah uh so then you come down so you're booking for your test online so what you need so you will need uk driving license number email address credit or debit card because you have to make payments that means before you start because you can see start now you can start booking there yeah so let's see we go down before you start again they are just telling you you must have lived in england wales or scotland for at least one 85 days in the last 12 months before the day you take your theory or driving test so there's a limit of days that you must have lived in the country 185 days uh, within the last 12 months which is uh, so good because remember i said if even if you came with your license you will just use it for 12 months so we go on there um so part a ah this lorry i won't have to uh do that so then uh when you do you need a theory test okay ah <laughs> by the way when i've come here is the time i've realized there are two types of licenses like if you are driving an automatic car if you use an automatic car to get your driving license you can't drive a manual car but if you do a manual car and get your driving license through a manual car you can drive both manual and you can drive an automatic car at the same time but if it's automatic you've been limited to automatic only so watch that if you think uh, maybe you can um, you'd, you'd be interested to drive a manual car then don't go for automatic driving license go for them for the manual one and another thing I, maybe i can just mention is that is that um the automatic cars they are more expensive in uk than the manual car they are very good manual car and they are cheaper than the automatic cars so yeah have that in mind as well so let's go uh help with your booking let's see what you, ah here we go so we have part of uh learn to drive a car step by step so we have step one check you are allowed to drive so you just show you press there and then most people can start learning to drive when they are 17 yeah check what age you can drive that's okay requirements for driving legally uh driving eyesight rules so that those ones will be done um in the practical driving that one will be you know will be done there when you're doing your practical they'll check your eyesight yeah and then step two get a provisional license uh-huh so apply for your first provisional driving license which is 
34 pounds to 43 pounds most likely this is in england wales and uh, scotland but here in northern ireland i've already said it's 62.50 pounds and then um so apply for your provisional driving license that one i had already mentioned maybe i can just press let me see what it will give us mm -hmm. be at least 15 years and nine months old uh be able to read a number plate from 20 meters away that is for the eyesight check uh have legally lived in the uk for at least 120, 185 days in total in the past 12 months yeah so anyway uh then step three it's driving lessons and practice so you need a provisional driving license to take lessons or practice okay so when you applied for your provisional license uh you need to have it back before even you book for your theory test and then before even you book for your practical test which will be immediately after if you pass your theory test so the theory test the questions that they usually ask is the highway code and um, taking driving lessons okay driving lessons of course you will have to find like an instructor who will guide you on how to drive around you know like your teacher uh find driving schools <laughs> lessons and instruct instructors yeah i've just mentioned that and then practice vehicle safety questions so yeah you do those uh practice vehicle safety questions theory part that will be online then um prepare for your theory test let's show uh -huh. theory test revision and practice that one uh there's an app so like now we're in 2022 there's an app that has already been developed for practice for 2022 if it was last year 2021 2020 2019 2018 like it depends with the year that you are present so uh so yeah so take practice theory test uh-huh you see that that app it has the practice theory test and most of those questions guys which are in that app they usually come in the exam that's why i say an exam is an exam so you have to take the exam seriously and you practice and study yeah so theory and hazard perception test app okay you can also download that one for theory and hazard perception test app you can do that but i think the app that i had was just one and it showed everything even the hazard you know the hazards perception you know it's like i don't know i can't show here but it's like uh when you are driving so there'll be a car that will be on the road and once the car maybe approaches a hazard you're, you're supposed to like flag you know you flag the hazard that you've seen and then let don't do it like a pattern you have to go like systematically if you see a hazard that is what you're going to press on uh -huh. so you have to do practice on that as well so that's step three then we have step four book and manage your theory test let's show so you need a provisional driving license to book your theory test okay book your theory test 23 pounds that is for the other countries here i've already said what to take to your test you need to know what to take to your test uh change your theory test appointment you can you have the right to change you have the freedom not the right you have the freedom to change uh your your date if you feel you're not like ready to do that exam you can change but then i have to warn you like before you get that date for the theory test even practical you may even take like two or three months you see like now because of covid there's a very big backlog and i i think i reckon those people who are like um rescheduling or who are repeating their theory tests they are taking even three or four months before they get a date so so if you get that date which is closer to you you are lucky please study and use it wisely mm -hmm. uh, then check your theory test appointment details of course uh cancel the audit test if you want to cancel of course you have the freedom to cancel uh, i just wanted to check this one for uh what you can take to your test let's see what it's bringing us uh what to take to your tests 
you must take your UK photo card driving license to your test. Remember, this is the provisional. If you're using the provisional one, that's what you're gonna use the provisional driving license. If you have a license from Northern Ireland, bring the photo card and paper counterpart license. That is something I forgot to mention. The license here in Northern Ireland and or UK, you have two parts. You have the counterpart and you have the photo card. I believe in England, uh, nowadays they are really not looking at the counterpart, but it depends on where you're going. But here in Northern Ireland, strictly, even when I was applying for my new job, and they did request um, for my, you know, they required for my driving license, they asked for both parts. Because what happened is that uh, I showed my proof of address using my driving license, so I had to provide both of them. So I sent the driving license, then they asked for their counterpart. So you have to have that paper part. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So that is what you need to take to the, to the exam room. Nothing, no, no more than that. So your test will be cancelled and you will not get your money back if you do not take the right things with you. You had that. You can choose whether or not to wear face covering at your test. Okay, those are the COVID rules, of course. Um, if you're self-isolating because of coronavirus, COVID, uh, anyway, that one is not of much uh, use there. No. So we just continue with the process. I think I was in number um, four, book and manage your theory test. So I'll just go direct to you. Number five, book and manage your driving test. Now, this one now is not even in the theory test. This one is in the driving test. Okay. And I don't know why I'm thinking the only test, I don't know how, <laughs> how how much percentage you should pass with for you to pass the exam. I can't remember, guys, I'm sorry about that. But I don't know whether it's like CBT, the way you used to do it, but anyway, you have to pass your theory test. Uh, so book and manage your driving test. You must pass your theory test before you can book for your driving test. Yeah, that's true. So book your driving test uh they are, now they have shown the correct range here 62 pounds to 75 pounds i said in case um just comparing i know about northern ireland if in case you're in any other part and you have uh, a different uh version of this kindly feel free to share that because we are here to help one another so what to take to your no this one is for driving test sorry during my time i paid for my driving test 45 43 or 45 pounds but right now i can see it's 62 to 75 pounds so i don't know so what to take to your driving test uh, i will check that change your driving test appointment you can always do that but i told you at your own risk <laughs> if you change the date remember you can miss to do your driving test for the next two or three or four months because of the dates um there are so many people who are looking to do this <laughs> Remember guys, here people can drive as young as, young as 15 years, 16, 17, I think 17, 16 depending. I read somewhere here, if you can recall that uh, 15 and uh, I don't know, 9 months. So you see why there are so many and why you can't even get another date closer to when maybe you expect to do that exam. So check your driving test appointment details, of course. If you want to cancel your driving test, of course, you have the freedom to do that. Let's see for your driving test, what you're supposed to bring there, what to take to your driving test. Uh -huh. So what to take, you must take your drive, UK driving license, of course, your theory test, <laughs> your theory test pass certificate if you have it. You need to go with the certificate if you have it. I went with mine because I had it. Uh, a car. Most people use their driving instructors, uh, but you can use your own car if it meets the rules. So your test will be cancelled and you will not get your money back if you do not take the right things with you. Now, maybe if I can revisit uh, here where you can use your driving um, instructor's car. So what I've come to realize, I did uh, my driving with my own car. I had already bought my car, then I did the theory, I passed the theory, and then I did my practical, my driving practical test. So if you use the instructor's car, you will have a fee to pay for that car. 
I can't remember how much, but someone, a very close friend of mine told me she paid, I think, 120 or 100 for the instructor's car. Imagine. So it's good you, you buy your own car, then even get used to the roads, you know, and the traffic. Hey, traffic lights, there are so many. So by the way, when I came here, um, you know, I had started like, a, you know, the practical, you know, practice with the manual car. And then I was like, hey, you stop here, you stop there. Uh, it's too much work. So I didn't do that. I didn't go with the manual car. So I went direct to the automatic car, which makes sense because anyway, that's the car I had already bought. I had bought an automatic car. So if you are willing to use instructor's car, mind you have to do a fee you have to pay a fee for that car but it's good if you use your own car so that you can feel confident even after the lessons and everything you'll be conf confident to drive by yourself wow so i don't think there's anything else i should touch from here let's see step number six what it is about when you pass okay so when you pass your driving exam you can start driving as soon as you pass your exam driving test yeah you must have an insurance policy that follows you to drive without supervision so also if you have your own car even if you've not passed your exam then immediately you buy your car for as long as you'll be driving it or even someone else will be driving that car you need to have an insurance policy so i remember i bought my car and the same same day I had to buy my insurance the same same day because of course you can't drive without the insurance okay so yeah and again um, there are some licenses the when they give the quotes I know a friend of mine uh, who was denied like the insurance but then it depends because of the license that you're using so maybe if you're coming with a license from outside there are some you know the what can i call them there are some insurance companies which may be afraid to insure you or something like that so just go online be open and uh, check the insurance that can agree to give you a policy with them and check the quote when you are coming here i would advise you come with your driving license because you are able to buy uh, a car with it and you can drive with it if you can't drive and you have the provisional driving license put a nail you know another thing to show that you are the learner when you are on the road people will respect that you are the learner i know some drivers maybe may, may harass you because you're a learner but trust me with my own experience here it's really good and then you must have someone who is over 21 years driving with you must be your co-driver you know when i'm driving and then i see someone maybe has a nail or has an R, and then i see the other drivers hooting at them i'm like really you are not born when you <laughs> you knew how to drive so why are you even harassing this person i hope i've mentioned most of the things so if in case you've not uh, watched my previous video where i did mention how to buy a car here in uk please feel free to go back i think i'll put in my description that video you can go down see how you can buy a car here in the uk and in case you have any questions about this video also you feel free to comment below and i'll get back to you yeah so what can i say other than say thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate you for your support and i'll be seeing you in my next video